welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. Today we have another Lessons with Lydia video and it's going to be all about how to modernise your outfits and styling tips to make your look a bit more on trend. These are going to be mostly, I think, things you can do for free so you don't have to buy lots and lots of things. They're not going to be trend items. They're more ways to style that are on trend. Um, a couple of things might be purchases, but I think mainly um, it's kind of free, simple, easy tips to update your look and make it more modern. So these are things that I've kind of been observing just from um, trends on Instagram, Pinterest, things like that, that I've picked up and kind of plated together. I've also done a reel for this on Instagram. I've kind of cropped a few out. There's just, I think, five tips on there. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, it's at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. Lots of styling things on there, so go and follow me if you don't already. Before we get started, I'll talk about my outfit because I know I will get asked. I've also, side note, done my hair with the Dyson air wrap. At first, I was a little bit skeptical about the air wrap because I was expecting curls and it's more of a blow dried effect, but I actually love it now. I'm kind of obsessed with it um, and I'm using it pretty much every day. I kind of grab these two bits and roll them upwards to create a bit of a bouffant bit here and then just use the smaller curling bit on like these bits. So it creates more of a blow dry effect for my hair than um, like curls because my hair is naturally very straight, but I just thought I'd note that because a few people in previous videos that I've done my hair with have mentioned it, so I thought I'd let you know that it's with the Dyson. Outfit, I'm wearing this blazer from Zara. This is the limited edition. Who knows why it's called limited edition? Not sure, but I think it's still online, so I will be linking it. T-shirt, it's just my Forever Classic Arquette t-shirt. I get these in a size small. And then jewellery-wise, I'm going to come closer so you can see it's all from my collection with North School Woman. First up, we've got the Moonstone Lariat, which just looks so pretty on a plain white t-shirt, but also just on a chunky knit, it really works well too. It's such a pretty piece, and I think it's so timeless too. I'm wearing the Scoura Double Curved Earrings, which again, are just such a lovely, simple piece, but really noticeable and stand out, um, but also you can kind of wear them with everything. Rings wise, I've got the egg ring on this finger. I wear the medium size on my index finger. And then I've got the rattan plat ring here. This is the smallest size. And then I've got the Zagora double ring here. Again, this is the medium size. Bracelets wise, I've got the Amphor double chain on, which has a matching necklace. And then the Zvina vegan pearl bracelet. So now we've done the outfit, we can get started on the video. And tip number one, really simple, wear a jumper round your shoulders. This is a trend that I've actually been doing for years because many times I've been to Italy and I love the Italian style all of the men wear the jumpers around the shoulders, as you probably know. And for me, that's something I've kind of adopted through the years. And in summer, I love to wear a jumper around the shoulders, just gives you a bit of extra warmth. It's a little bit Princess Diana, very classy, very chic. But this year, it's become a huge trend. And basically, it's your alternative modern take on a scarf. So wear a jumper around your shoulders, really easy to do, really chic. It can be any kind of jumper, they all work for it. I think a chunky one looks the best. Um, maybe a chunky round neck because like a turtle one can sometimes get a bit bulky around the back. But any you can make work and really simple, easy way to update your look. So tip number two, obviously a lot of us have probably jumped on board the chunky boot trend or have some form of ankle boot, like Chelsea ankle boot. And my tip for this would be, instead of wearing like a skirt with it or some skinny trousers, tuck your baggier trousers into it. I don't necessarily mean wide leg, but if you've got like a straight leg pair or something that's a little bit looser on the leg, tuck those into your boots because that's a really easy way to update your look. 
Obviously, I will say that not all of these tips will be for everyone. You may not like that trend, so if you don't like it, don't do it. But um, that is, for me, a really easy way to update your look. It looks a lot more fresh and modern than skinny jeans, although that look works as well. But I think if you took slightly baggier trousers into boots, it just really modernizes your look into autumn winter 2020. So something you might want to buy, this kind of depends on your hair type, but is a big, chunky, oversized claw grip clip. Claw grip grip clip. That is a mouthful. I actually purchased one recently off Amazon. I actually got two in a pack, um, so I'll link those below. It's the ones in the picture. Um, so these are, I've got one that's black and one that's like a tortoise shell. Tortoise shell is obviously a big trend. Um, I think, depending on your hair thickness or um, type, mine is naturally very straight, but it's quite thick. Um, these clips are great for thick hair because they've got real good hold and grip. So if you've got very thick curly hair, these would look nice. I think you could do like a half clip, depending on your hair type, kind of work with the style of the clip. I just think this is a really easy way to look on trend. There are loads of different ways I've seen on Pinterest. Depending on your hair type, it might be useful to go on there and have a look to see how different girls are wearing them because you could do like a half clip like that or you could tuck it all the way up. Um, and there are definitely some techniques to use that I've noticed. Like I do quite a tight wrap and then kind of tuck it under. So go and have a look on Pinterest or YouTube for ways to do it for certain hair types because that might be useful. But a big chunky clip is definitely an easy way to update your look. Next would be to combine unexpected pieces together. So my example for this would be swap your straight leg trousers for wide leg trousers and wear those with your ordinary long coats. I think a lot of us many a time shy away from wearing like a long coat with wide trousers, but I think this unexpected combination um, is a real big trend at the moment. So pair those wide legs with a nice, long, smart, straight coat. Normally, we'd probably gravitate towards a straight leg pair, but I think the wide legs just provide a little bit of interest a little bit different and perfect for 2020. And along this line would be dress down your tailored pieces. So combine tailoring with trainers, for example. I love doing this. This is one of my favorite things because I don't work in an office. I don't need to look really smart, but I love wearing those smarter pieces. So like tailored trousers, straight leg trousers, nice smart coats, blazers and dress those down, juxtapose those with a pair of trainers. You could wear a t-shirt as well to create that effortless look. Another thing we probably all have in our wardrobe, we've probably all been buying this recently, is loungewear. But my tip is to dress up loungewear. That is a really big trend at the moment and something so easy to do. So style up your loungewear, pair it with boots and a nice smart coat. For me, I would go something like matching loungewear for this, but with a nice smart coat, you could put a scarf around the neck or you could put your jumper over your shoulders with it, style it up, put some jewelry with it. It looks so chic, styled with jewelry. Loungewear and jewelry is just such a nice combination. And really style up that loungewear. You could even wear a pair of heels and a blazer with it. I actually did a styling video recently where I did this with my Fourth and Reckless loungewear set and put a pair of strappy heels and a black oversized blazer with it. So styling up your loungewear is a really easy way to look on trend for this season. My next tip along the lines of jewellery is invest in a chunky chain necklace. These are everywhere at the moment and they are such an easy way to update your look. In the North School collection, we have both the Medina and the Racine. They are both the perfect chunky chain. And just to note, that anything that's out of stock at the moment is coming back very, very soon. But a chunky chain just looks so chic. And if you are a kind of classics person like me and your wardrobe is made up of real capsule wardrobe pieces, then you can pop the chunky chain necklace with it and it completely updates your look. Um, so you don't have to go and buy loads and loads of trend pieces of clothes, but instead invest in a couple of key accessories to update your pieces. So my final tip 
is perhaps something you might need to invest in or perhaps something you want to bring into your wardrobe a bit more. Perhaps you've already got it in your wardrobe and you're not sure how to wear it or you're shying away from it. But that is leather pieces. They are huge at the moment, especially leather blazers. Swap your plain black blazer for a leather one. If you just want to buy that one trend piece to update your wardrobe, make it something like a leather blazer. You may already have leather trousers in your wardrobe, but you perhaps don't wear them enough. I'm wearing mine at the moment. But that is such an easy way to update your wardrobe is to just pop some leather into your outfit. A nice leather pair of trousers, a nice leather jacket, a nice leather trench coat, um, or a faux leather one, depending on your preference or what pieces you like. So that is my final tip to update your look for autumn, winter 2020. I hope you've enjoyed these tips and ideas. Let me know if you already do some of these or if you're going to take any of them on board. As I say, most of these tips as well were free and easy to do. Obviously, trends are not all for everyone, so pick your favourites, take away one, two, or take away all of them, and then you can incorporate them into your wardrobe. So thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, subscribe. Let me know anything else you'd like to see from Lessons with Lydia. I actually really enjoy filming these sit down, chatty kind of videos. So if you've got any ideas for me to incorporate into future videos, do let me know because that would be so, so helpful for me. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.